Go. Hey, Pierre, how are you doing? Hey, Dave, how are you today? Good. All right. So today, let's talk about how to clone a Git repo into Notable. So first off, why would you want to do this? Well, uh, there's a lot of great um, repositories in GitHub, and there's a lot of ones that are using Jupyter Notebooks. And so you may find one uh, that has a lot of notebooks and some data and some other assets you want to work with just uh, you know, publicly available on GitHub. And so we'll talk today about how to clone uh, that repo into Notable so you can begin to play with those notebooks using the Notable uh, notebook platform. So for example here, um, this is a repo that I had forked off of someone else, but I like playing with, and it just takes uh, some shark data. And it's actually a great kind of like introductory uh, to using Python and notebooks to do some introductory data analysis um, type repo that has a couple of different exercises, you know, at the easy and intermediate and hard level uh, that are fun to play with. So if I want to take this whole repo and get it into Notable, how can I do that easily? Well, we support uh, cloning repos from GitHub and GitLab. Uh, just by creating projects within Notable and then selecting the option to clone those uh, from GitHub or GitLab. So I'm going to create a project here and I'll say demo of GitHub clone. And down at the bottom here, you see some information that's saying, are you creating this project uh, from a Git repository? Because by default, you'll be just creating a blank project in Notable and you can start by uploading files or creating new notebooks and doing anything you want to do um, starting the Notable platform. But if I know I want to start this project from uh, an external Git repo, I just click clone from Git repo. And then all I need to do is copy the URL and say that is the repo that I want to clone. And from and just and just to confirm that this is the main branch, which is replay that's default, it could have been master for some older uh, project. So just make sure you're pulling the branch that you want to pull in there. Sounds good. So what's the user access token for here? Yeah, so the user access token, uh, access token down at the bottom is an optional field there if you put in. Um, so if you are cloning a private repo, you will need an access token to represent you know, the, the user account that you want to use to clone that repo and make sure you have to have access to that repo. You'll additionally need the access token if you want to uh, push back to that repo and commit uh, and sync your, your changes back to that. So we'll have a whole separate video talking about that part of using Git within Notable. But for now, let's just focus on just the simple use case of wanting to clone a public repo within the Notable. So put that in there. Again, for this is the public repo, I don't need the access token. If it was private, um, again, I would need an access token. Um, but I, I don't in this case, so I'm going to clone. And then it's going to go out, and it's going to pull that, that repository in. Now, depending on uh, you know how big that repo is, how many files there are, how big those data files are, this could take you know a little while here. In this case, uh, it's a relatively small repo. You know, It has just a small data set and a couple of different notebooks, so it shouldn't take too long. Uh, to wait for the clone to happen here. Do do we have any limit in the um, in the notable, or we can just like clone any any size and you know, in terms of file? Uh, yeah, good question. I, I'm not aware of a of a strict limit. I'm sure there's a giant repo out there that's going to pull in <laughs> um, too large of uh, too large of a repo. But uh, but yeah, no, it's, it, it, we should be able to pull in um, anything okay. that we want to work with. So you can see there, it, it finished. Um, and I can go ahead and hit finish here. And here we have that repository. So if I go over here, right, and look at um, all the files listed here, I have all the files in here to work with. So I can go in and start playing around um, with these files. So in this case here, I'll go to this you know, easy challenge notebook. And here's the notebook. Again, there's my project file tree. All the files were automatically cloned in here, including the data files. So now I can go off and start playing with this notebook using the Notable UI. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. Thank you.